Hi guys, we are going to talk about the Paint Center today. So we're going to start working on learning about all the different things in the Paint Center. The first two kinds of paints that we're going to learn about today is tempera cakes and watercolors. So I wanted to show you what those look like. This is tempera cakes. These are both dry paints, tempera cakes and watercolors. So basically they're going to be dry when you get them out. And when you use them, you're going to need to add water. So I'm going to demonstrate what you're going to need to use them today. Watercolors are going to look like this. And they also are going to, should be dry if you get them out of this drawer. So let's talk about what you need to get started. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to check the poster. So let's go look and see what the poster says. This is what you need to set up your area for painting. The first thing you're going to need is your apron or your paint shirt. So really quick, just a reminder, our shirts are located over here in this yellow bucket. This is not our trash cans. It says paint shirts. I would definitely put the, one of these on. Mom and Dad don't want your clothes to get ruined. Okay? So the second thing it says that you're going to need is a water cup. And it says half full. So our water cups are located up here above the sink. You're going to pick whichever cup you want and you're going to turn on the water and fill it up halfway. When I fill it up halfway, I want to make sure that it's not going past about here. So this is halfway. If we put too much water in this and someone bumps us, it's going to spill all over the place. Or if you just accidentally bump it with your hand or your brush and it's at the top, it's going to go everywhere. So we're going to start with that. And I'm going to set all my things out so you can see what you need. The second, the third thing it's actually that we need is paint. So we already looked at where the paints are located that are available today. Temper cakes and watercolors, okay? So I'm going to pull out the temper cakes and take them to my area where I'm going to be working. Next thing that I need, it says a palette. Now, not everyone is going to need a palette, but I want to show you where it is. A palette is what an artist used to mix paint. We don't want to mix in the paints because then the red will look really gross and no one wants gross paint. So, palettes are located over here. And there are several different kinds. You could mix one really large amount of paint, or you could get a bunch of um, ones with more holes in it so you can mix a whole bunch of different colors. So I'm going to grab a palette and just set it over here in case I decide I want to mix some paint. You don't have to use that. It's just a choice. Okay, the next thing I'm going to need, it says, and I know it might be kind of hard to see. I'm going to scoot this stuff over, is paper towel. There are paper towels several places here. There's paper towels in our machine, and there's paper towels kind of sitting over here on the counter. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. Tear off a paper towel. You don't need to get very much. It's just for keeping your area clean and, and if you have a spill. The next thing it says is you're going to need a brush, one at a time. So we're going to walk over here. The brushes are located here, and you need to think about how big your paper is. If you have a large paper and you're doing a big background, you're going to probably need a larger paintbrush. If you're going to be painting small things, then you want to choose a smaller paintbrush. So I would choose the one that works best for what you're doing at that time. You can always go get a different one or trade it. So I'm going to put my paintbrush over here. And the last thing that I need is paper. And it says write your name and class on the back. So our painting paper, unless I give you larger paper, which sometimes I do, is located over here next to all our paper. This is the painting paper. See, it says painting. So I'm going to grab one, and this is super important, guys. Everyone always forgets this. Go right over to the pencils, write your name, and put your art code. If you don't do this right now, your paper will be all wet, and then you won't be able to do it later. Okay? So now I'm going to go back to my area and get ready to start painting. One more thing that's not on this poster that's a good idea to get is a tray especially if you're doing a painting the entire page. So there's two places you can find a tray. If you have a large paper, this is for larger papers, so you could put your paper in it and not make a mess. And there are trays here, and there are trays down here. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose, you can, you can tell they've been painted in a lot. And we just put it in there so it keeps the table clean and keeps our area neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate really quick um, how to get started with the paint. Watercolors and temper cake, you must start with water in your brush and then you kind of mix it around in the paint two or three times. <coughs> oh, 
like this. So it kind of starts on this one. I always try to make little bubbles in it. Then I can start painting on my paper. Okay. Remember, the palette is available if you want to mix. So I'm going to wash my brush out and just put plain water in here. And then I'm going to mix and put a little green and put a little yellow in there to make like a yellow green. So I got to get my yellow really wet. And I always add a lot of water, two or, th two or three brushfuls to get started. And then I'm going to mix them together and it's kind of making a, a, like a yellowy green. Oops, and I'm dripping. And that's what my paper towel is for. So now I'm going to paint a little yellow green on my grass too. So I have different colors. Okay. So I'm going to use my paper towel now and clean up. Clean up song just came on. <gasps> I got to clean up now. So this is how you clean up. First thing you're going to do is take your paper to the drying rack. Drying rack right here. Find a spot. If it's really drippy and wet, you might want to leave it in your tray. Sometimes if our paper is really saturated with water, just drippy, just leave it in the tray because then it's going to be really hard to get out and make a huge mess. So now I'm going to put my tray back. Make sure you put your tray back where it goes. This I need to take over to the sink along with my water. I'm going to dump it in the sink and just wipe it out. I don't really need even to turn the water on. Just wipe it out. And then this one I'm dumping out also, turning it upside down, and it'll drip into the sink. And then my brush I'm just going to dry off a little bit. And we always store our paintbrushes with the hairs bristles up. So don't forget to put the bristles up, otherwise you'll get a bad hair day. This goes back on my shelf. And my tempera, wet tempera cakes go back in the drawer. Now, if you're using watercolors, and when you're done with them, we have a new place to put them. And if you can see over here, we have a drying area for our watercolors. It even says watercolor drying rack, just because they get kind of gooey sometimes. So when you're cleaning up watercolors, don't put them in the drawer. Set them up here, and I will put them back later when they're dry. Okay? So this is what we have for paint available today. We will have more things available later on.